everyone. Welcome back to Poets and Quants' Must Reads, a quick digestible recap of the top business school news sponsored by Center Court, our virtual admission events. I'm your host, Christy Bleizeffer, and I'll be highlighting the most important PMQ stories you might have missed. So let's get to it. Number one, the best undergraduate business schools of 2023. There's a first time for everything, and for the first time in seven years, the University of Southern California's Marshall School of Business tops our ranking of the best undergraduate business schools. The Los Angeles-based school ends a five-year streak of wins by the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania and become just the third school ever to top our undergraduate B-School ranking. The Olin Business School at Washington University in St. Louis won in 2016, the inaugural year of the ranking. You can get the full list an explanation of why Wharton slipped from first to third after such an impressive streak on our sister sites, poetsandquantsforundergrads.com. Number two, GMAT score inflation. Now nearly 20% of test takers are scoring 700 or higher. Remember when a 700 score on a GMAT test was a true achievement, a sign that you were among the very best MBA candidates in the world? A 700 or plus score opened many of the doors to the most highly selective MBA programs in the world. But thanks to ever inflating scores on the test, a 700 score isn't as distinctive as it once was. In the testing year 2021, 18% of the worldwide candidates who sat for the GMAT scored 700 or above, a significant in increase from the 13% who achieved that level only five years earlier. In the US, it was even higher. 22.5% of completed exams reach scores of 700 and up. Read how far GMAT inflation has impacted other regions of the world and how it might affect your hopes of securing a spot in your dream school in our trending tab. Number three, nominate your favorite under 40 MBA professor for 2023's list. Don't forget to nominate the most impactful, most inspiring MBA professors under the age of 40. We're collecting nominations for the best MBA professors in the business to compile our annual best 40 under 40 MBA professors list. Deadline for nominations is March 24th. We're looking for MBA professors under the age of 40 who are masters in the classroom, who influence business and policy, who are prolific researchers, and who have demonstrated meaningful impact on their fields. We need you to tell us who they are. You'll find the rules and nomination form in our news tab. Number four, our weekly roundup of news you can use. No matter where you are in your MBA journey, we bring several helpful stories for you this week. First up, if you've been scheduled for an alumni-led interview with your target school, be sure to check out this essential story with seven tips on acing the conversation. You'll find preparing for alumni-led MBA interviews on our homepage. Next, for Indian MBA candidates with stellar credentials, we've compiled a list of interviews from our handicapping series featuring real Indian candidates and our expert advice on getting into their dream schools. You can find the full package in our students tab. And finally, how can an MBA admissions cope help secure an acceptance letter to your target school? And how do you select the right coach for you? Our partners at Fortuna Admissions answer these and other questions in how to choose an MBA admissions coach, which you'll find in our admissions tab. And that's it for this week's Must Reads Recap. I also want to alert anyone considering a graduate business master's degree to Center Court's upcoming special master's admissions event. In these virtual panels, you'll get to explore master's in management and finance and business analytics and other specialized business degrees to help determine which degree is right for you. Our next event is March 14th and 15th, and you can register now for free. Again, I'm Christy Bleiseffer, and you can join me next week right here for a recap of what's important in the world of business education. Thanks for listening, and as always, stay informed.